let's take a look at command line concepts using pipelines. Let's begin by taking a look at the man page for Bash. We'll scroll down in the man page to the section titled Pipelines. We see here that Bash defines a pipeline as a sequence of one or more commands separated by one of the control characters, pipe, or pipe ampersand. The pipe operator is used extremely often in shell scripts and at the command line. The second operator, pipe ampersand, is used much more rarely. For the remainder of this example, we'll only be discussing the first of these two operators, pipe. The format for a pipeline is a command followed by a pipe operator followed by another command. The ellipsis here indicates that this pattern can be repeated indefinitely with additional pipes used to respectively connect each adjacent pair of commands. So, what does it mean for two commands to be connected via a pipe? The standard output of the first command is connected via a pipe to the standard input of the second command. So, let's begin by assuming we have two commands, echo and tr. Each command corresponds with a process, which we see here visualized as a box. Each process has its own standard input stream, its own standard output stream, and its own standard error stream. By default, each of these streams will be connected to the terminal. However, this time, we're not going to leave things in their default configuration. Instead, we're going to make use of the pipe operator to connect the standard output stream of echo to the standard input stream of tr. How do we accomplish this goal? Let's look at an example. We begin with a simple invocation of echo. After we hit enter, this message is printed to the standard output stream of echo, which at this point is still connected to the terminal. Now, let's try running tr by itself. If we hit enter at this point, because the standard input stream for tr is connected to the terminal, tr will wait for us to type something. Okay, we've now run each process by itself. In doing so, we have verified that the standard input streams are, by default, 
connected to the terminal, as we saw in the prior diagram. Now, let's use the pipe operator to connect the standard output stream of echo to the standard input stream of TR. There are a couple of important points to observe here. First, our original message contained lowercase letters. That original message was not printed to the terminal here. Second, TR did not sit and wait for us to type something. Instead, Echo printed our original message to its standard output stream. The contents of Echo's standard output stream were sent into TR's standard input stream. TR read the contents of its standard input stream translated the lowercase characters to uppercase characters, and then printed the result to its standard output stream. Because TR's standard output stream is still connected to the terminal, we now see the transformed message at the terminal. However, we could choose to instead use another pipe to connect TR's standard output stream to the standard input stream of another process. WC-W counts the number of words it observes on the standard input stream. In conclusion, remember that the pipe operator is used extremely often in shell scripts and at the command line. This work was created by Lane Schwartz. You are free to reproduce and adapt this work under the terms of the Creative Commons Attribution Sharealike 4.0 International License.